Well, I've been really enjoying my Steam Deck now for a few months. Absolutely love using this device. Such a great on-the-go console. But I do find that I very much wanted to use it docked more than I am as a handheld console itself. So today I'm going to be looking at Up To High's Steam Deck Dock. Now this is a six-in-one docking station. It's a very cost-effective way to match make your Steam Deck a fully-fledged desktop. So we're going to open this and take a look around it, and then I'm going to set it up, and we're going to see how well it performs. Okay, so inside the little box, you've got the dock itself. We've got a very small instruction manual. Not really a lot needs to be said. So the dock itself, it's made of metal. It's got a reasonable amount of weight to it. So hopefully we put the Steam Deck in, it's not going to move. We'll try that in a second. We've got some nice rubber strips on the inside and along the back that will hold your Steam Deck nice and firm in there and will stop it from getting scratched, which is important. No logo on the front, which is quite nice, nice and plain. Two nice grippy rubber feet on the bottom, along with the name. And if we look at the ports, we've got an HDMI 4K 60 Hertz port. We've got three USB-A ports for say your keyboard and mouse, etc. On the left side, we've got an RJ45, so you can hardwire it into your network. And on the right side, we've got the USB-C, so we can plug our charger in, which will pass through the charging to the Steam Deck. And then lastly, we've got a little cable with a protective cap on it that will plug into the top of our Steam Deck. So let's just quickly pop it in, see how it sits in here. So it sits in, it's nice and sturdy. Rubber's gripping it very nicely, no problems there. Grips to the desk nicely, so you're not going to spin it across your desk when you're playing. Cable is a good length to easily pop it over the top and plug in for your USB-C on the Steam Deck. And then lastly, if we have a look around, you can see that they've made the back low enough so that the ventilation is not blocked when you're using the dock. So the intake vent's just there, still got plenty of access to fresh air. So I'm just going to cut that there now, and I'm going to set it up in my monitor, keyboard and mouse, and give it a go. Right, so we're now all set up. I've got my Steam Deck in its dock, plugged in. I've now attached my Alienware 240Hz 1080p screen for some silky high FPS gaming. I've got an Alienware wireless keyboard and an Alienware wireless mouse. Both those are on USB dongles into the back of the dock. Now I've booted into the Steam OS desktop so that we can set it all up and you can see. Now you can see here we've got the Alienware monitor and the laptop screen besides. So I've set it up as a secondary display. As you can see, there we go. And there we are. And you can see we've got the 240Hz through the HDMI cable. And we've also connected the Ethernet port, and you can see that here, there's our wired connection. So you've obviously got a much better connection than you have over wireless. It's a much more stable connection, so I do like using my wired connection. And as you can see, keyboard and the mouse is working fine. And if I show you the back of the dock to show how everything is set up. So here I have the original Steam PSU plugged into the dock, which passes the power through to the Steam Deck. Then there's our HDMI cable to my monitor, and I've got my two USB-A wireless dongles for the keyboard and mouse, so that they're working. And we've got a spare USB-A hub. You could use that for an external drive, or maybe a USB headset. And lastly, we've got our RJ45 cable there for our wired internet. So very clean setup, works perfectly, and then you get that docked experience with your Steam Deck.